Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazeas here from The Automator, and this video is going to follow here. It's actually an extract from our conversion from V1 to V2 course to make it painlessly. And it's kind of funny because the other day we were making a video on, you know, working with V2, and we actually stumbled on this part of taking a hotkey, exactly. adding a hotkey to a thing, and it has to deal with scope. And so V2 is amazing, but it definitely has your little gotchas, right? Often around, I think, scope and understanding, you know, what's going on. The funny so, thing is that even if you know that is there, you can still fall for it for yeah. different reasons. The only thing is that if you have the information, you know how to fix it quickly. If not, you will have to spend much, a lot of time trying to fix it. But so yeah. Our course is to make money. I'll put the link here. It's half off right now. But this is one of the sayings. This is going to trip up a lot of people, so I want to make it available to everybody. But it gives you an idea of what's in the course, right? Things like this that you might spend hours trying to solve. Um, and so it helps point it out to you to make sure you're aware of it. So hope you enjoy yeah. the video. If you learned something from it, please like it. Uh, it really helps us out. Cheers. So we have been talking about certain situations in which auto hotkey might throw in a warning or an error. And at this point, I want to talk about a very specific one that even though I know it happens, it gets me every single time. So I wanted to show you more or less what is going on and why it's happening and see if you don't fall for it over and over again like I do. <laughs> but here's the thing. We have been talking about that if you have a variable and you haven't assigned any values to it and you try to use that variable, you might get a warning. So just to demonstrate how what that looks like. So if I go ahead and create a hotkey here and it goes ahead and tries to show my X and Y positions, two variables that do not exist. What is gonna happen is that I will get a warning right away that those variables, I would get two warnings, one for X and one for Y. So I get two warnings um, for each variable that is not set properly, <laughs> you would get this error. So, well, this warning. Now, the way how to fix that, of course, is just assigning any values to it. This is one way of fixing it. And at this point, the script just ran. And if I hit F2, I will get my message boxes. But the other way to do this is using any function that uses a variable reference to set the values for that variable. So for example, mouse get position is a good uh, example of this because I could use a variable reference here. It gets the mouse position and set, stores the information in X and Y, but you have to use variable references there. And as I am doing that, Auto Hotkey already knows what is happening and it will not complain about empty variables because it knows that they are, they're gonna be set by mouse get position. Let me just make sure that I'm running. There you go. So this is not gonna complain about it because this part here knows that the variables were set up there and right now you will see that it, I got some values. Fine. Where is the, <laughs> the situation that tricks me every single time? Well, if you have variable references like this, but you have them in a hot key, then you will get the warnings again. The reason for this is that this command is not being executed automatically. Well, when it was not a hotkey, it was getting executed right away, and X and Y had values before you press the hotkey. But if you have a hotkey set up like this, now these two don't have values unless you press the hotkey, and that creates this situation in which X and Y still don't have values and auto hotkey is going to go ahead and complain about them and this even though i know that this is a thing uh, my brain knows the information i fall for it every single time so just keep in mind if you're trying to use variables and you're using variable references like this make sure that this type of code is in a place that gets automatically executed and it's not like a hotkey or a hot string because at that point auto hotkey is going to complain about it